In the remote village of Barrio San Isidro, darkness held sway long after the sun had set. I was Maria, a young woman with a heart full of fear and a mind clouded with dread. My family and I lived in a small house nestled amidst the whispering trees, unaware of the horrors that lurked in the shadows. One fateful night, as I ventured out to collect firewood, a chill swept through the air, sending a shiver down my spine. The moon hung low in the sky, casting twisted shapes upon the ground. It was then that I heard it a low, guttural growl, echoing through the darkness like a warning from the grave. My breath caught in my throat as I scanned the forest for signs of movement. That's when I saw her, a figure cloaked in darkness, her eyes gleaming with an otherworldly hunger. It was the Aswang, a creature of nightmares, come to claim its next victim. With trembling hands, I clutched my makeshift weapon, a feeble defense against the horrors that stalked me. But the Aswang was relentless, her steps growing closer with each passing moment. I could feel her icy breath upon my neck, her presence suffocating me with fear. As she drew near, I felt a primal instinct take hold, urging me to run, to hide, to do anything to escape her grasp. But it was no use the Aswang was upon me, her twisted form looming over me like a specter of death. With a blood-curdling scream, I lashed out, striking at the creature with all my might. But the Aswang was unfazed, her unearthly strength overpowering my feeble attempts at resistance. In that moment, I knew I was doomed doomed to become another victim of the Aswang's insatiable hunger. But just as all hope seemed lost, a ray of light pierced the darkness, illuminating the creature in all its grotesque glory. And in that moment of clarity, I saw her for what she truly was a monster, driven by an insatiable thirst for blood. With a final burst of courage, I summoned every ounce of strength within me, driving the Aswang back into the depths of the forest. And as the first light of dawn broke upon the horizon, I knew that I had survived, but at what cost? For the Aswang still lurked in the shadows, waiting, watching, hungry for the taste of human flesh. And as I returned home to the safety of my family, I knew that the nightmare was far from over. The Aswang may have been defeated for now, but its reign of terror would live on in the darkness, haunting our dreams for eternity.